Greetings folks, if you're heavily into RC flying, uh, like I am, then it's all about electronics. You're going to have to be making up your own leads, doing soldering, checking resistance, making sure things are continuous, uh, checking voltages out from BECs. Lots of different parameters you need to measure and check and make sure they're working properly. So you're going to need a multimeter. Up till now I've been using this cheapy digital multimeter. Um, I've had that for oh, years and years. And it works okay, but I reckon it's time to upgrade. So here we have the Mustool True RMS Digital Multimeter MT826 from Banggood. The old Digitor is a cheapy model. Uh, you can get very expensive models. This sort of lies in about the middle range, I suppose. So let's have a closer look at what's going on. It has a USB interface, which means you can connect it to your PC for some sort of live readings on PC, I think. Auto and manual range switching. Uh, can measure temperature. It has a backlight and date. Uh, it can measure maximum and minimum and the difference between maximum and minimum measurements. Uh, and it comes with a nice um, carry case as well. So let's open it up and have a look. As I go through learning how to use this, I'll uh, show you some of the uses that uh, I need to use it for. Mainly for voltage, resistance and continuity, that's what I use it for. Uh, current measurements, I tend to use a, um, a current sensor or a power meter because the currents we deal with are, are higher than this wants to deal with, I think. So, we have a nice little carry case, that is awesome. Bits and pieces. This little bit here is for testing trans transistors. You get a variety of leads. Uh, they're nice, thick, nice, flexible test leads. This one is a thermocouple or a, a temperature sensor, basically. USB cable. There's the unit itself. And we get a CD, which I won't be able to use, and a little instruction manual. All right, now this is a, a nice big chunky compared to the little cheapy. Nice big screen, nice positive selector switch, USB plug in the top there. Has a stand on it so you can stand it up, that's very nice. You plug your test leads in down here, you have a function button, minimum maximum button, backlight and H, whatever that is, range, Frequency, USB and relative measurements, temperature, minimum, maximum. All pretty straightforward. All right, let's open it up and put the batteries in. All right, moment of truth, let's turn it on. Yoo-hoo! Nice little beep. So it's on DC, uh, that's current. Amps, milliamps, microamps. That's a transistor reading of some sort that I don't need. Temperature. This is the continuity and resistance. Uh, hertz, so that's frequency, millivolts, volts, and off again. All right, so I thought I'd start off with a temperature measurement. This is the thermocouple or the uh, temperature detector, I suppose. T plug that in, uh, temperature in this one. The common port down below here. Turn it on to temperature. Let's see what my body temperature is. 29 degrees, 30 degrees, looks like I'll live. Sorry for you Northern Hemisphere folks. It is about 25 degrees here at the moment. 25 degrees centigrade, very nice indeed. All right, that's cool, that's something I haven't got. And of course I could use this to uh, get an idea of temperature of uh, Motors running hot, uh, ESCs, things like that. Not that I probably wouldn't bother doing that. 
I usually just feel them with my fingers and <laughs> see how hot it is. All right, so next up, what do we do? Well, uh, let's measure the voltage of my battery maybe. Nice little plugs, plug in very easily there. Let's go on to volts. Let's get a battery. Let's measure the voltage at the uh, balance port, 3S battery. It's uh, half, half empty. And we have 11.67 volts. There you go, I need to uh, charge it up again. Actually, now there's something practical on, I can do here. Uh, I noticed on one of my FPV cameras that the uh, voltage reading was not the same as I thought it would be. I thought I had a fully charged battery and it was reading at 11.5 volts. I was running it through uh, an LC filter like this, so I'm going to test it to see if I get, actually get a voltage drop by plugging it in to the uh, LC filter. 11.67 volts, all right. Plug the LC filter in, measure it again on the other side of the LC filter, 11.65 volts, so it's 0 0.02 volts voltage loss across the LC filter, so that's not enough to account for the difference in voltage reading on my FPV camera, so obviously the FPV camera voltage reading is out of calibration, so I might need to have a look at that and see if I can calibrate it. Another use uh, is if you're dealing with flight control boards, uh, everything I've read said that flight control boards really like being run at 5 volts, exactly 5 volts. Uh, now if you're going to run it from an external BEC, some of them can do 5 volts or 6 volts. This one has a little switch on it in there. Uh, it should be obvious which position the switch is. Some of, the, some of these little BECs have a, a little jumper uh, that you put on two pins or the other two pins, and I often forget which one is which. So let's check how much voltage this little BEC is putting out. Now I'll need a battery, 3S battery there. I'll plug it in, BEC is fired up. Let's check the output. Half the battle is getting these probes in the right spot. 6.1 volts, there we go. So that's the six volt position. Let's change it to the five volt position. Uh, there we go, 5.28 volts, that's pretty close, that's good. Now I have another BEC here that is supposedly exactly 5 volts, so let's check that one. It's wired up uh, to replace the BEC on uh, an ESC, specifically, specifically for use with a flight control board, so let's plug that in see what we're getting out. Five point one volts, so that's closer to five volts than the other BEC. That's good to know. Essential information, this sort of stuff. Now, have you ever tried to work out the resistance of a resistor without remembering all those uh, little uh, barcodes? I have this resistor free floating around and I don't know what the resistance is so let's work it out. So there you go, it's about 5 kilo ohms. Good to know. And another test for FPV, I make up these little uh, wire leads, one with a, a 3S or 4S balance plug there and female and male servo leads. Uh, I've got one of them that's a bit dodgy at the moment so I need to work out the continuity see if they're actually connecting through. Okay we're on the continuity setting now and uh, let's see how quickly it picks it up. Oh that's straight away, that's great. So that tells me that I can use it to work out whether these wires are connecting. Let's go for the red wire and the red wire over here hard part is yep so that's that's a good connection. Try the black wire 
Yeah, that's good too. At least the power side of this is well connected. I'll try the signal wire going through. This might be a bit tough to get the probe into. But there we go, that's working. Awesome. Oh, I know, something else. If, uh, if you ever wondered what a, uh, a bind plug does, let's have a look. So there you go, you can see a bind plug is just, is just a short. All it does is short the outer pins, that'll be the signal wire to ground, uh, and that and allows you to bind your uh, receiver. Uh, I'll have to investigate it more deeply because it can do way more stuff than I actually need uh, but I'm sure I'll use it as I uh, get to know it a bit more. So that's the Must Tool MT826 Digital Multimeter from Banggood. Looks like a beauty to me. Thanks for watching.